instant pot dairy-free gluten-free gumbo first you want to cut up two cups of celery onion and pepper and about one pound of andouille sausage with your instapot on medium brown the andouille sausage when it starts to get that nice color throw in the celery onion peppers and like a tablespoon of minced garlic you just brown that up a little bit use some of your broth you could use water you could use bone broth you could use chicken broth just toss in some of your broth and loosen up any brown pieces when needed once it starts to brown toss in about a half a cup of coconut oil or whatever your fat is and a half a cup of cassava flour or just regular flour and uh, and stir that in add water to keep from sticking and burning you're going to constantly be stirring and if it starts to get too brown it's okay if you need to turn off your instapot and deglaze the bottom of that pan and then turn it back on you could do this anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour depending on how dark you want your roux once your vegetables are falling apart and you've got that color you want then you want to add in two tablespoons of your favorite Cajun seasoning we like Cajun seasoning from Gimme Some Oven, G-I-M-M-E-S-O-M-E-O-V-E-N dot com forward slash Cajun hyphen seasoning forward slash. Anywho, let that cook in a little bit. You can, uh, you can then add in a tablespoon of fresh thyme, a tablespoon of rosemary, um, a tablespoon of tomato paste if you like that um, and a large chicken breast and now you want to add like three cups of water so we used about one cup of water while we were deglazing the pan and getting our color so four cups total so whatever if you need however many you need to add just get your four cups of water total in that pot and do an instapot high for 15 minutes let it no pressure release so at least 15 minutes it took I think 26 minutes for it to no pressure release then you're gonna take that chicken out let that rest pull off any of the fat that's there uh, mince up the rest of your garlic bulb so you had a whole garlic bulb maybe half of it went in before put the rest of it in now another tablespoon of thyme okay put it in put in your okra and let it go for about five minutes uh, five minutes on high on your instapot let it no pressure release again while that's happening while you're while it's like chilling out then you take your frozen shrimp and you can squirt some lemon juice on it you chop up your chicken it's been able to sit now and you add some liquid aminos on it maybe some maybe some soy sauce if that's your thing um, and then you're gonna add that chicken back with the shrimp and you're gonna stir that all into that Instapot and then maybe do like zero minutes, no pressure release. So just set it for zero minutes. When that thing drops and there's no more pressure in there, you can eat that up.